Hey guys, this is gonna be my very first instructional video that I'm doing on this YouTube channel. I promise plenty more will follow this later on in the future. I hope to get a new video uploaded at least every couple of days starting off. Might progress to every single day. Just assuming that the time is there to be able to go ahead and I'm gonna knock some of these smaller projects, tutorial, DIY uh, videos out and kind of start spreading the word about how to do these simple things to help pass time. I know we're in a pretty difficult time in our lives right now with this whole quarantine situation. Um, whenever I was growing up, I used to use drawing as a pastime to, you know, help me through hard times because, you know, it, it brought me joy. Uh, some people play video games, some people draw. Um, I mean, some people go and race sports cars on the street illegally, you know. I've done all three of those things. Uh, I still do two of those things. I'm not going to tell you exactly which two they are. You can probably figure those out based on my current vehicle situation. I do not have a sports car, so um, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this little instructional video about how we are going to make a three-dimensional star. You do not have to use this method I'm doing. I just made it a little bit easier for myself because the only thing that I have is this super flimsy uh, meshish tape measure and it's not that good so what I did is I went ahead and just put it on this envelope and I marked out you know every quarter inch half inch inch all the way up to six inches now this one's going to be a fairly large demonstration you can do it super small you can make them three inches you can make them an inch and a half you know it's completely up to you but I'm going to make a little bit larger scale just to uh, you know, give a better example about how easy this particular thing is to do and how awesome it looks whenever it's finalized. So, like I said, we're going to start off with the six inches here. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and find the closest center of your paper that you can. So, mark your three inch point and you want to try and get it as level as possible. It'll make it look a lot better in the end. So, once you have your three inch mark done or whatever your medium point is, just put like a little X there to where you know that's gonna be your center spot for every one of your lines that precede these initial two that we're about to do. Once you have that done, go ahead and mark you a line horizontally all the way across from your six inch point all the way to your starting point. Once you have that, you wanna turn your measure, your envelope, whatever it is that you might be using, Go ahead and turn it vertically and do the same thing. Do your best to square it up. I always just base it off of the top of my paper. I look how much overhang there is on both sides just to make sure that I'm not more towards the left or towards the right whenever I go ahead and do this second angle. What you'll do is you'll mark it in the center. Go ahead and go from your six inch mark all the way down to zero and that's it. So it'll look something like this. It'll just be a, a little cross basically. Now I just noticed that my dot right here is not perfect. So I'll go ahead and just move it over just a little bit. Straighten it up. And there we go. Easy fix. All right. Next what you wanna do, go ahead and put it on your first line that you made. Every one of these hashes, go ahead and put your little mark. Three and a quarter, three and a half, three and three quarters, four inches. All the way down on both sides. And once you finish that, you want to turn your measuring device vertically and do the same thing on the vertical line as well. We'll be back in just a moment. Whenever we have all that done, we'll go to the next step. All righty, guys. Here is the finalized hash marks. So the next step is a little bit confusing for first timers, but once you get it down, I promise it is one of the most simple things that you can do in a drawing that will have such a really awesome outcome. So what you wanna do next, grab your straight edge, doesn't matter what it is, just as long as you can go ahead and make continuous straight lines all the way down without getting any kind of squiggles. You're gonna take your straight edge and you're gonna line it up on your very first hash that is to each side of your center dot. And you're gonna line it up to the very bottom of the vertical line that goes down from the center dot. So for example, this is what it's gonna look like. Go ahead and line it up right there. Draw a line down to it. And that's all it's gonna be. Now the second one, 
instead of going to the very bottom line here, you're gonna go one up. For every one that you move to the left or to the right, you're gonna move up one in this direction, and if you're going in this direction, you're gonna move down a hash every time you move to the left or right. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, just to show you guys exactly how it looks. Move over to the right, move up one. 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 You're just gonna do this all the way around. And once I get this first side done, I'll go ahead and show you the result and then I'll knock out the other three sides and I'll show you the end product. And then I'll show you guys the next step as well. And that's how it should look. All the straight lines will basically make it look like a circle. Just the optical illusion, the 3D effect that it's gonna give this whenever we get finalized. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get these next three sections knocked out real quick. I'll be back in just a second whenever I have all those knocked out and we'll go from there. All right, guys. When you have all four sides done, it should look a little bit like this. As you can see, all we have right now are lines and it already looks pretty three-dimensional. Now the next part we're about to do is what's really gonna make this thing pop, literally. So, the next part is very, very simple. You just have to pay kind of close attention. We're going to make every other one of these dark. So for instance, we'll start right here near the center point. This one we'll go ahead and shade in dark, we'll leave the next one white. Next one dark, the third one dark, the fourth one white, fifth one dark, sixth one white, and so on. On the second row, we're going to do one section at a time. We're going to do a fourth, the second row, we're gonna do white first off, second dark, third white, fourth dark. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get this one started. I'll show you the progress, be right back. All right, and here's how it looks with the first section done. Really, really simple. Like I said, all you're doing is every other one, just like the checkerboard. Go ahead and get these other three sections knocked out and we'll take a look at the final product. Alrighty, everybody, here's our final product. It's pretty amazing what a few lines and some coloring in of a few boxes can get done. But uh, yeah, that's it. A little three-dimensional star or a squished square, whatever you want to call it. So stay tuned for more videos and a little more DIY tutorials on how to make some three-dimensional shapes, colorings, you name it. We'll get more content flowing in here pretty soon. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you think, and make some recommendations if you have anything you'd else like to see. Thanks. See you later.